Hi Paul here from Tools for D. I'm just going to try and show you a, a practical example of the use of these advanced topology maps. This is a simple imported landscape, Grand Canyon, with a nice texture and uh, it's already pretty good but we can enhance this with the use of these advanced topology maps. Uh, so let me just show you the maps I've already prepared. This is the angular map. This map basically shows you the angles of the surface, so the topology angle map, whereas white is a sharp angle and black is a flat angle. So white to black, simple mapping. And you can also use that in a shader, colorize with this colorized shader in any material to uh, map it any way you like. So the next map is the density map. This is basically showing you the polygon density of the underlying mesh. So where polygons are closer together, you get a higher density equals white. And where polygons are further apart, you get a black uh, mesh, which, uh, sorry, a black color, which is basically mapping the density of the underlying mesh. So the mesh looks like this, pretty compact, high resolution. And you can see that uh, this particular mapping method kind of captures the features of landscape pretty well and you can obviously abuse that for shading purposes the next map is a really cool one this is the ambient occlusion map this is basically um, giving you uh, per vertex ambient occlusion as a map for shading you can just pre-calculate it and uh, just use it instead of the uh, system ambient occlusion and you get a nice noise free instant ambient occlusion rendering so the next one is the umbra shadow map this basically shows you um, from the viewpoint of any given light in this case this light over over here on the left hand side this gives you the shadow fall as a uh, vertex map and so you can um, use this for um, various shading purposes again with combined with the shader vertex map shader or you can use it for you know particles or mo graph any kind of thing where you can apply a, a vertex map as i said before the next one i'm working on is the subsurface scattering map which in this particular case wouldn't be very useful because it's obviously not got much of a subsurface as it's a flat model but if you've got a solid model you will be able to use the subsurface scattering map in a similar way and you know they're all kind of i mean apart from this this is not really real time this takes about two seconds to calculate this map but if you use um normal geometry let me just open an example recent let's try this one say this set of teeth for example if i just apply the topology maps to that you get an instant result and you can modify in real time smooth in real time that's the density uh, angle map yeah, just fiddle around with that in real time till you get the right kind of map for whatever you're doing um, and then let's try the ambience and there you've got uh, real time ambient occlusion and uh, eventually the shadow map let's just add a light for the shadow map and then it changes to umbra light so as you can see you get a real time shadow in the viewport so that's that. Okay, thanks for looking. Take care. Bye bye.